So when I was in college, I made a point of having interesting summer jobs. Because you could go work in an office somewhere, but that's pretty boring. I found this website called coolworks.com, and I did cool things. I had a summer where I worked on a horse ranch in Colorado, I worked at Yellowstone National Park, and then one summer, I worked at this remote fishing lodge in Alaska. Um, my title was front lodge manager, so I was out in the middle of nowhere, only accessible by float plane. My job was to, early in the morning, turn on the generator so we had power, start the fires in the lodge, and uh, radio the planes to coordinate the guests coming in. Um, really, really cool spot, really, really remote, and it was a really fun summer. Hard work, but a really good time. Um, there was one afternoon where I had the afternoon off, and I decided today I was going to treat myself. I was going to take a nap. It was going to be glorious. It was a beautiful, beautiful day. Um, I went to my tent, because all of us workers at this place had our own tents that we slept in. Um, the guests had the lodge and cabins, but we had tents. Uh, <laughs> and I left the door open so I had a nice ble breeze, and I lay down to sleep the afternoon away. I woke up to an interesting noise. It sounded like there was somebody rummaging through my stuff. Now you get some weird people who live out in the middle of nowhere, Alaska, but it seems like basic common decency that you would not exactly knock, but like say knock knock before coming into someone else's tent. So I open my eyes and look over to see who this rude person is coming into my tent without asking and realize there's a very good reason that this person did not knock. It was not a person, it was a bear. There was a juvenile black bear in my tent with me. So, I'm still a little groggy, I've just woken up. My first thought is, this sucks. This is the closest I've ever been to a bear, and I cannot take a picture because my camera is on the other side of the bear. I can't get it. I woke up a little more and realized that's not what I should be thinking about right now. I should be thinking about the fact there is a bear in my tent with me. This is probably dangerous. Um, when I worked at Yellowstone, part of my job was informing the guests about bear safety. But what that all boiled down to really was about not getting close to bears. Like you make noise when you're hiking so you don't surprise them, you have whistles and stuff. It all boils down to don't get too close. I'm already way too close. That's, that's past. <laughs> um, so crap, what do I do? What do I do? I could just lay here and play dead, but what if he finishes nosing my bag and starts to nose me? That, yeah, that seems like it could go badly. Um, so I think what I need to do, I need to make myself look big, and I need to be scared, I need to make noise. So the first thing I thought of as I sat up, I said, hi bear! <laughs> and it actually worked. He ran away. So I really got up and zipped my tent closed. I realized that's not gonna really do too much if he decides he actually wants to come back in. Um, so I gathered up anything with smells, realized it's been really dumb of me to have like my toothpaste and deodorant in the tent. And you, you know, you're not supposed to do that. Gathered that all up went into the lodge with its really thick log cabin walls that no bears could hope to get into. And, you know, told all my coworkers, and they laughed and laughed and laughed. <laughs> um, and they called me she who sleeps with bears for the rest of the time. <laughs>